Hey there, Louis Yacobalos here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Microsoft Teams Boards sample app. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials. Also, be sure to check me out on Twitter and Instagram at Luigi Yacobalos to make sure that you don't miss out on any of my new content. Last but not least, if you're interested in learning more about the tools that I use to produce these videos, check out the links in the description below. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. Now what exactly is the Microsoft Teams Boards sample app? Well, this app is essentially like Pinterest inside of Microsoft Teams. This app allows users to create boards around specific topics, and then users can actually go and pin content to those boards. For example, as you'll see in a minute, we might have a board for Microsoft Teams, and then users can actually go and pin articles, blog posts, tutorials to that board so that other users can access resources and content around topics of interest. Now, it's important to note at the time of recording this tutorial, this app is still in preview stage. Now, what that means is that you can't actually grab this app from the Microsoft Teams App Store. If you want to access it while it's still in preview, you actually have to sideload that app, which involves manually downloading the installation package and installing it within Microsoft Teams and then adding it specifically to a team. I have put the links to the installation package and to a tutorial that I created showing you how to install uh, another sample application in the description below. So if you're interested in testing this app out, uh, go ahead and check out those resources. Now, it's also important to note that this is a sample app. Now, a sample app is one that was created by Microsoft using its Microsoft Power Platform, which consists of Microsoft Power Apps, Power Automate, and Power Virtual Agents. And Microsoft released a series of these apps uh, in order to showcase the power of the Power Platform and to showcase the extensibility of Microsoft Teams when you use the Power Platform. If you're interested in learning more about some of those other sample applications, check out my other videos as I do have a series of tutorials showing you how to use those. Now let's go ahead and let's look at how to use the Microsoft Teams Boards app. All right, now to get started, uh, just a quick reminder again, that this app at the time of recording this tutorial is in preview stage, which means that if you wanted to use it um, at this time, you will not be able to find it in the App Store. So clicking on add a tab, uh, you wouldn't be able to see the Boards app. And again, I can see it because I've manually installed the app package. So you wanna stay tuned for when this app hits general availability. Now, this app is meant to be used in a team. So you can see here that boards has been added as a tab in the general channel of my human resources team. Uh, this is a collaborative app, so it's not one that you would use yourself individually, okay? Now, when you open up the boards tab, it is going to bring you into this landing page. And essentially, each of these cards represents a board. Okay, so you can see that boards are sort of grouped under high level categories. So a category called digital well-being was created and there's a board called meditation and a board called remote work. And just below the board name, you can also see the number of pins on that board. So meditation has two and remote work has three. Now to actually view pinned content, what you want to do is click into a board and this is what the board looks like. So again, you're going to see the high level category and then you're actually going to see the board name. So again, the board name is remote work and you can see below uh, pinned content, okay? Uh, so again, I can click into any of these pinned uh, cards here, which represent content to see the details. And so if I click on 11 best practices for working, this is actually going to open up in a browser because that content was actually a link to an article, okay? Uh, now, at any point in time, users can add content to this board. Uh, to do that, you can go ahead and click on the Add to Board button, and it is going to bring up this Add to Board card. So the first thing you need to do is select an item type. So this may be a website. Uh, perhaps it's actually a specific team in your Microsoft Teams environment. So I can easily toggle between these. Uh, it might be a channel of a specific team. Uh, maybe it's a channel tab. 
uh, a conversation, applications, or a file. So again, these are just some attributes to help you sort of classify the content that you are pinning, okay? Uh, and then next, you want to put in a link to that content that you are going to be pinning. So again, if it was a link to a team, you would generate uh, the link to that team or the channel, uh, paste it in here, and then you would give it a title and a description, and it would provide you with a preview um, at the bottom. Now we'll come back and fill this out in a minute. Now the next thing you'll note when you're in a board is that you can easily drill down and filter for specific content. So if there were hundreds of pins on this particular board and perhaps you were just trying to look for articles, you might click on websites. And again, that's going to automatically filter the results that are displayed uh, to only those pins that were tagged as websites. And the same applies to the other categories as well. Now, when you're in boards, you could also search. So if I type in HBR, it's going to uh, show me results where HBR were included. And again, if I want to clear that search filter, I can just go ahead and X out of this. Okay, uh, now you can also edit a board after it's been created and to do that you can click on the edit button and again this is just going to bring you into the uh, board card where you can update the title, change the category, okay, uh, or update the description and or update or add an icon um, or an image. Now if I wanted to delete a board altogether, I can go ahead and check on this delete board and it would actually delete this board as well. All right, now I'll just quickly show you how to add a board and walk through the actual steps. Now the first thing you wanna do from the main page is click on add a board and then you wanna give this a title. So I will call this Microsoft Teams Tutorials. Then you wanna go ahead and choose a category. I'm just going to label this as Microsoft and put in a description. And then I'm going to go ahead and use a custom image. So select image and click on add new and I'll just grab my image here. Okay, uh, and then I'll go ahead and click on save and my board will be created. Now I will scroll down and you will be able to see the new board. So you can see that the new board was added under the Microsoft category and you can see that my image did not come through for some reason. Again, that could just be because the resolution is off or because this app is still in preview. Now when I actually click into this particular board, if I wanna go ahead and add something, I can click add to board. And in this case, I'm going to select website as the type and I am going to paste in a link and I'll give this a title. Okay, and I'll go ahead and click on save. And you can see here that I have now added uh, that particular link uh, to this board. Okay, now I will quickly back out. Uh, and again, now that you can see this Microsoft Teams tutorial board has one uh, piece of content or one card pinned to that board. Okay. Um, now the next thing I will show you is how you can actually filter or sort uh, the boards on the main page. So again, uh, this is going to be at an individual user level. Uh, so if you scroll to the top and click on uh, the up down arrow, this is actually going to allow you to rearrange the categories. So you can do that by just clicking on the respective up and down arrows. And if perhaps you wanna hide a category altogether because it's not relevant, you can just click on this little icon here and that's going to hide that particular category. Okay, and again, this takes place at a user level, so you wanna keep that in mind when you're uh, filtering content that perhaps is relevant to you. Now, the only other thing left to show you is the settings here. So clicking on this little gear icon is going to bring you into the only um, editable settings that you can change in this app, which is the board categories, okay? So you can see here uh, that out of the box, there are four sort of test categories, clubs, digital well-being, diversity and inclusion, and Microsoft. I can delete these if one of them isn't relevant to me. So I will go ahead and delete clubs, for example, and I am going to go ahead and click save. 
and you can see that that has been deleted. Uh, and if you wanna add categories, you can go ahead and click on the add category button and type this in here. So I'll just type in uh, MS Teams, for example, and then click save, and you can see that that has been saved. Uh, and now I'll back out to my main screen, uh, and you can see that clubs has been deleted. Uh, and if we go ahead and scroll down, um, that the new category is not listed here because I don't have anything uh, added to that particular board at this time. Okay, uh, so that's it. This was just a quick tutorial showing you how to use the Microsoft Teams boards sample app. Again, remember at the time of recording this tutorial, this app is still in preview. Uh, so there could very well be changes uh, to this app between the time you watch this tutorial and the time it becomes generally available. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit the thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss out on any new Microsoft Teams tutorials. I'm Louis Yacobelis. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.